Hockey bands are popular with parents, but new research shows that they actually may come up short at protecting passengers in the back seat. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Jasmine Payut joins us live from University City overlooking the Schuylkill Expressway to explain. Good morning, Jasmine. Good morning, Jim. Janelle, this could be concerning for parents. We know the back seat is, of course, where their children go. This new study used a round of crash tests to see what could be going wrong. In a new round of crash tests, four types of minivans were smashed into a barrier at 40 miles per hour. The vehicles did a good job protecting the driver, but all received a low grade when it came to backseat safety. The results are disappointing because customers buy minivans to transport their families. Jessica Jermakian is vice president of vehicle research at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The group found the seat belts in the back either put too much pressure on the chest or slid up, increasing the risk of abdominal issues. According to the IIHS, the risk of fatal injury is 46% higher for people. People in the back of the vehicle. SUVs and mid sized cars also failed to achieve a good grade in earlier research. It's important to stress vehicles are not less safe than before. The test is new and exposing the issue for the first time. We expect the automakers to put in better belt technology. Jamaican wants back belts to have the same pretensioners and load limiters you find in the front seat. So a pretensioner tightens the belt on the occupant, coupling them to the vehicle and helping them ride down the crash, and the load limiter reduces the forces on the chest. The IIHS emphasizes that making those improvements could make the vehicle safer. I'll send it back to you, Mr. All right. Interesting to hear that. Thank you for that, Jasmine.